Hi there Mini owners, today in your 2014 Mini Cooper S Countryman Edition we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Roadmaster's Falcon 2 tow bar. Your tow bar is one of five main components you'll need when flat towing your Mini. In addition to your tow bar, which is the connection point between your motorhome and your Mini, you'll also need your safety cables, which is a supplemental connection in addition to your tow bar. You'll also need your base plate, which is the connection point on your Mini for your tow bar to attach to your diode wiring or magnetic lights, which will take all of the lighting signals from your motor home, transfer it back to those lights at the back of the vehicle so people around you know your intentions when going down the road. And lastly, your supplemental braking system, which will apply the brake pedal in your vehicle using the existing brakes on the vehicle to help it come to a safe stop when you hit the brakes in your motor home. The Falcon 2 is gonna be an entry level tow bar that's going to get your Mini flat towed behind your motor home. It's a rather basic tow bar. It does have release here on the top for your arms, so if they get stuck into a bind, you can press down on them to get them released. Now, this tow bar, unlike some of the other tow bars out there, just has these buttons here. So for a true non-binding tow bar, they'll have levers installed, which gives you the leverage you'll need to be able to get these disconnected. Because once this tow bar gets into a bind, these buttons can be very difficult to release at times. Sometimes you have to use a mallet to hit on it to release it, or you could purchase an additional tool from Roadmaster that we have here at eChiller.com that will hook in and give you plenty of leverage to get these buttons pressed down. It features a 6,000 pound gross towing capacity, which is how much that it can pull, which is gonna be more than enough for our Mini Cooper here. When you're not using your tow bar, you can leave it attached to your motor home, and the head of the bolt here, when flipped up, will lock into place here. And you may have to twist it a little bit to get it to line up. And then I recommend you push your arms off to one side, whether it be the passenger or driver's side. And then you can take off down the road again. And if you plan on leaving it on your RV for an extended period of time, I recommend that you put a cover on it to keep everything nice and neat and protected from the elements. Roadmaster has covers available here at eTrailer.com. We're using our tow bar with Roadmaster's Direct Connect base plate, which is what I would recommend because your tow bar will connect directly to the arms from your base plate. Now some of you out there may already have a base plate installed and it's not a Roadmaster base plate. Well don't fret, the Falcon 2 can hook up to other manufacturers' base plates by replacing the ends here. There are adapters available here at eTrailer.com. Your tow bar will fit into your two inch receiver at the back of your motorhome. We'll line up the hole in the end of our tow bar here with the hole in our receiver. And we want the flap here to be facing towards the top. Line up and slide it into the receiver. We want to use the second hole on this particular hitch because that first one you see there is for a J-pin. We'll then take the included hitch pin and clip, slide it through. and then secure it in place. Then we can take our arms and line them up with our base plate. These will just go in between your direct connect arms on your Roadmaster base plate, and then we'll secure it with the included pin and clip. We're going to do the same thing to our other arm. And secure it. Now we just showed you how you would connect it to your Direct Connect Roadmaster base plate. But Roadmaster also has crossbar style base plates. The crossbar you see here comes included with your tow bar. And this is going to bolt on to the crossbar style base plates using these brackets here. And then the crossbar actually slides off. There's two pins here and this whole crossbar will slide off. But if you look here on each end of our crossbar, we've got the exact same style of connection point as our direct connect. So our base plate's gonna hook into this exactly the same. You just have to install the crossbar brackets onto your base plate before connecting your tow bar. And now with the rest of our connections made, we're ready to place our vehicle into flat tow mode and hit the road.